Hello everyone, this is Jennifer with Stickers by Jennifer. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, please click the like button below. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can be notified when I make more stationary related content. Today, I've got a fun little um, mini, so, um, mini sampler that I wanted to share with you. And it is like a day of the week sampler with the um, numbers uh, up to 31 so this is gonna be a freebie I'm probably gonna start giving out <clears throat> from now on in different colors and I wanted to share this PSD file with you so that you could make this like for example you may not want like I'm a, like an um, a la carte shop so I sell just the um, weekdays you might get two sets um, two sets of weekdays and then um, you'll get like two or three sets of date dots um, so you may not want that you may just want just one set and you don't need all those extra stickers so I decided to start um, promoting some of my work with the sampler previews but I also wanted to share this PNC file with you so that you could make your own stickers and I'm going to show you a little bit how it works because it took a little bit of work to get this customizable now I'm going to tell you the two fonts I'm using the for the weekdays and these are just overlaid on it for the weekdays let's see Monday Tuesday Monday through Sunday I am using a font called wild hazelnut and I will, um, this is at Creative Fabrica. I get my fonts from there all the time. And then the numbers, the numbers on the date dots are this called the Sweet Belly font. And this is also on Creative Fab Fabrica for you to download. And then how you change the colors. And let's see. I don't know if there's these are <clears throat> the date dots are smart object layers and then the way to change the color so you wouldn't touch this area here or here unless you like 100% know what you're doing like for example if you want to change this color uh, say I want to change it to this color or no Huh. Say I want to change it to, I need a color scheme here and I don't have one. Uh, we'll do the dark brown. And then this is your background. So you could leave it white or if you wanted to, you could change the colors. So I could change it to that. Well, that probably wouldn't work for me. Um, I would probably have to change this one like to a black or something. And when you're done, you're going to click save. And then it's going to change that area. And <clears throat> the great thing about it is you could have Monday in this color, Tuesday in a different color, Wednesday, all the way through if you want it. But what I'm going to do is leave leave everything like the way I have it I just want to show you a little bit how the colors change I'm gonna change this back to white those are the only two colors I know the hex code for is black and white I know that white is six F's black is six zeros <laughs> all the other ones because there's there's so many I just don't know <clears throat> now for the date dots you could change the colors by just highlighting them all together and just change them like say you know you want them to be I'm gonna leave them black and then you could go here and highlight all of them change the color well, that probably won't work because the letters are white. The numbers are white. <clears throat> but like I said, I'm going to leave these black. 
just because I'm fine with the setup as the way it is. And then what else? You can change the font of the numbers if you don't like it. This font, the Sweet Belly font, like, um, let me see. I think, let's see, this is another one of my favorite fonts. Skinny Flower, so you could change it there. And then you could also change the font of the text from Wild Hazelnut to Skinny Flower. And you could have it all one way. And then you would just go in you know resize it to make it fit inside of the box and voila so I'm gonna undo everything I just did <laughs> okay so that's just an idea and then you know you've got my business information here which you can edit out in the PSC file and then sampler freebie which you can edit out and you could also change the color of this box which I do you could change the color to whatever color you needed it to but I'm gonna leave it on black because this is really just <clears throat> what I need it for and the great thing about this is the size so the size of the date dots are 0.25 I know in 75 pixels is 0.25 width and height and then the squares are 1.5 inches in width by I believe 0.5 or 0.25 with inches in height I can't remember exactly but these are the these headers will fit like most planners like the classic happy planner Erin Condren uh, maybe the uh, mini in the horizontal and then um, what else uh, the Aurora Estelle which is <clears throat> what I'm going to use this in and the 0.25 these little dots here they are so hard for me to like pick up because I've got big hands so I'm going to use um, some uh, tweezers to grab those and place those because when I tried to do it with my hands I kept placing them down crooked sideways wrong upside down and just sort of just drove me nuts but I already have some of these designed out so what I was going to do was just um, print and cut some so I'm going to open up Cricut Design Space And I'm going to start a new project. And I'm going to go to upload and just grab those files that I am talking about. Actually, it will be better if I just did a drag. So I'm going to go over to functional stickers. I'm going to go to freebies and I've already set some of them up I'm gonna upload them as a complex image print and cut um, and I'm gonna keep doing it slide this over uh, 25 So I've I got these designed in four colors. The black is the one I'm most interested in. It's because it just I don't know, you could probably put that one in, you know how they say black goes with anything. So I could probably just use these in any kit that I wanted to. But I'm going to use those to give you an example of how it works. And I may even hmm I don't know if I want to do this or not. That's okay. I'm going to do it with this and once these load in I'm gonna resize them and then I'm gonna show you how I fill up one sticker sheet with all four of them so the first thing I'm gonna do is resize them the four four inches in width about three inches in height 
there's a quicker way to do this, but I'm just going to do it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach those and then I'm going to layer these ones and I'm going to go ahead and left attach and then I'm going to go and do it up top, align these and then attach. So now these are ready for me to send to my printer for print and cut. Excuse my cat. All right, so now that all that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and print out a few pages and cut them. Um, I've done this on the silhouette. I can't, <clears throat> I seem to be struggling a little bit. I might have to calibrate my machine. The date dots, they on um, in one of the squares, when I do all four, it seems to cut off. And so I'm trying to figure out how to fix that. Whenever I do a print and cut of these, this particular on the Cricut, I never have a problem. They always cut within the circles. So I'm going to go ahead and print this. And I do turn on the bleed when I use a Cricut. I just do because I never, it's so hard to get an accurate cut if you don't do it. I'm going to reprint out three of these. And then I'll show you some... Um, footage of what it looks like, footage of me applying them into the Aurora Estelle, and um, that, that'll be about it. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate um, everything that you guys uh, support. And I, I, I just wanted to say thank you for that. I'm so awkward with this. <sighs> okay. This will be in the Patreon for you to download commercial uses just always just don't give away the psd file and um thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another video okay bye